Hi folks, let's take a look at a third example of uh, writing a balanced chemical equation. So here uh, we've got something that's a little more complicated than the other two. So we've got uh, chromium 3 sulfate. Okay, and here we see multivalent metal, but we also see sulfate. That should make us think of polyatomic ions. Okay, here potassium carbonate, again, polyatomic ion. And then gives chromium 3 carbonate plus potassium sulfate. So we're definitely seeing some... Uh, swapping going on okay so let's start by uh, writing our chemical formulas so here we have chromium 3 so we don't even have to check we know that that's the version with a um, with a charge of plus 3 so now we got to go check sulfate okay so let's go we figure that must be a polyatomic ion and we see yes it is sulfate SO4 with a charge of uh, minus 2 Okay, so right here, SO4, so I don't have to go back and check. Okay, and minus 2. So again, we need everything to balance out. We need to have a neutral uh, compound. So we know we'll multiply this by 2 to get plus 6, and this by 3 to get minus 6. Okay, so now we're ready to write our chemical formula. So chromium is Cr and we need two of them, and sulfate is SO4, but remember that we need three of them, and so we'll put this ion in brackets and then indicate that we need three of those, okay? And remember that when we're balancing, we're going to treat this as a single entity, this SO4. Okay, let's go to potassium carbonate, okay? Now again, if you check potassium, we've seen that one in the uh, previous videos, okay? plus one and now let's check the carbonate okay and we see that carbonate is CO3 with a charge of minus two okay so CO3 and a charge of minus two and potassium has a charge of plus one okay so this one's a little easier we just have to take two potassiums to get minus two so that with the mi uh, sorry to get plus two so that becomes neutral with the minus two Okay, so potassium, we have K, we need two of them, and we need one of the carbonates, CO3. Okay, now let's take a look at the products. Okay, so here chromium again, plus three. Okay, and we know that carbonate is minus two. So similar to what we saw earlier, we're going to have to take two chromiums to get to plus six, and three carbonates to get to minus six. Okay, so here we have Cr2 and then carbonate in brackets, CO3, and we're going to need three of them. Okay, and lastly we have potassium sulfate. So again, we found these already. We know potassium is plus one and we know that sulfate is minus two. So we're going to need two potassiums in order to get a neutral compound. Okay, so here K2 and then sulfate 1SO4, okay? So maybe in this one here, a little more complicated, so I'll make a chart, okay? So we've got our reactants and we've got our products, okay? And let's start listing here, and I'm going to start with my polyatomic ions here, okay? So let's say we start with the SO4, okay? Now remember, I'm going to consider this all as one single entity. So we see that in the reactants, we have three of them, but if we look at the products, we have only one SO4, okay? So I'm going to have to multiply this by three, okay? Put a coefficient of three here in order to balance it out. So now we've got three and three, okay? Now let's take a look at our CO3, our carbonate, and we see that on the left, we have only one of them, and then on the right, we have three of them, okay? So similar to what we did before, I'm going to have to put a coefficient of three in front here so that I've got three carbonates on the left and three carbonates on the right, okay? So now this is also balanced, okay? Let's look at our chromium, okay? Here we've got two on the left, and I already have two on the right, so that's already balanced. And lastly, let's take a look at the potassium. And we see that we have six 
3 times 2, 6 on the left, and we already have 3 times 2, 6 on the right. Okay, so in the end, these were all ready balanced. Okay, so there we have it. Let's do a quick check. 2 chromium, 2 chromium, 3 SO4s, 3 SO4s, 6 potassium, 6 potassium, 3 carbonates, 3 carbonates. So there you have it. We now have our, our um, 